Hello people from YouTube. I have some leftovers of paint from my last painting, which was the, the castle with this ultramarine blue. Okay, so let's use it. Let's use it. Remember that we always start with a wet canvas to spread the paint around easily. Please don't forget to subscribe and give it a like. It helps, it helps. Okay, so we are using ultramarine blue and this is carmine, okay? You can use magenta or alizarin crimson. Those are going to work pretty, pretty well. Spread it around. We're going to create this kind of um, cloudy shapes. Remember to move your hand with, uh, with X shapes, okay? To so see that way, we don't want a solid wall of color. We want those uh, variations here and there, okay? So X shapes and with circular motions, we are softening those shapes to get this kind of a cloudy, cloudy sky that we're going to build here, okay? Pretty, pretty easy, just spray it around. If you want more blue, add more blue. If you want uh, more crimson, add more crimson, okay? Super, super easy. Super easy pen, we're going to uh, focus our attention on this central part because our cat is going to be here and it's going to be a, an inverted uh, silhouette, okay? So the central part of the cat is going to be kind of open, kind of a, it's going to be kind of a window that is going to allow us to see all the sky there, okay? Very, very good. Work it as long as you want. That's kind of your choice. And remember, you can use any any colors you want here, okay? I'm just using this uh, to take advantage of them. I don't want to throw them away. So I'm using them. This is pure titanium white with my fan brush. And these are just uh, circular motions. Little circular motions to create these cloudy shapes, okay? Focus on the central part. Don't worry too much about the the edges because we are going to cover that with uh with black with black super super easy pretty cool how the white uh, mix with the colors that we have there and it starts to give us these uh, different tones of the same colors that we have there okay super cool you can add as much clouds as many clouds as you want okay that's kind of your choice, kind of your choice, and you can leave them as edges or as soft as you want, okay? Don't worry, don't worry, it's going to look cool, it's going to look super, super cool. Little by little build those shapes, if you want them super, super soft, remember with a clean brush, you can soften them, and don't use this, this brush with the paint because you, you are going to start to spread the paint around it's going to become a very very white mess okay don't look that good yeah Let's take a bit to look at the painting and add more clouds if you want a little bit more here on the bottom side and then a little bit more here at the top remember to focus on the central part because we are going to cover the rest with black now, okay people, let's begin with the cat. Black paint with my brush and it's dil diluted with solvent, okay? Let's draw here the cheek, which is going to be kind of a C shape, kind of a parenthesis. Parenthesis, this is the left parenthesis. <laughs> and now let's go with the neck, which is going to be kind of a C shape but the other way around okay and then let's start drawing kind of the shoulder area of the cat which is this curvy line think about maybe like a coca-cola bottle or a, a sand clock maybe a hourglass yeah that can work as the shape of the body of the cat it's going to be an and a stylized cat, okay? It's not, we're not trying to paint a realistic cat. Maybe if you think about uh, some of their kinds of cats, like a lynx, for instance, 
or a puma, those kind of cats, big cats, have this, uh, can have these shapes of cats, but the regular domestic cat don't. But you don't worry, this is an stylized painting, so we don't have to worry that much about this. The hard part of this painting is to leave the, the open space in the middle, because our brain is going to fight us, okay? <laughs> Our way is going to tell our hand to fill, to fill in the blanks, basically. So you have to push against that, okay? Okay, super, super easy. Remember, think about a hourglass. Paint the body of the cat. And here, just follow the line that you already have there. A parallel line to the one that we already have there. Okay, let's close the tail. Here with this curved line, super easy. Okay, the hard part of this, of course, is to follow the, the line that the guy line that we already laid there. Okay, a little bit more paint here to mark it, mark it better to look at it better. Don't worry about the, the other side, boy, because we are going to fill that with a brush, it's going to be easier, bigger brush, easier to fill super wide spaces like this, okay? Pretty cool. You might struggle too uh, covering the, the sky that you already did because it's super, <laughs> kind of looks super cool, okay? Okay, the shape of the body of the cat. Remember, we have to worry about what is inside of the cat, not the outside, okay? You can make a mess in the outside of the cat. Let's complete this part of the neck and then let's close our parenthesis. It's again a C shape but inverted. Look into the other side, okay? And you can see how simple lines are giving us the idea of a feline there. Super, super easy. Just let me prepare a little bit more paint because I ran out of black. So I have to pour it out of the tube and mix it with the medium make it flow okay let's close this close the head super easy it's basically two triangle shapes two triangular shapes kind of you can think of Batman if you want <laughs> easier that way okay but leave a little gap in the middle which is a curvy line Kind of the front of the cat, okay. There it is, people. We already finished. I'm going to cover the other side uh, with black, and that's about it. Please don't forget to subscribe and give it a like. You like and enjoy your deco cat, decorative cat inverted, super cloudy, super cool, super cool. And we'll see you on the next time.